What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Young Guns podcast. The Vegas Golden Knights are in a playoff position. As opposed to last year, they failed to make the playoffs because they had a lot of injuries to deal with with Max Pacioretty, who was a Golden Knight at the time, um, Mark Stone, Jack Eichel, just to name a few. So now they're first in the Pacific with 42 games played, 27 wins, 13 losses, and two OT losses for a total of 56 points. And right behind them, you have Los Angeles and Seattle. Their goal differential is plus 20. They are 12-10-0 at home and 15-3-2 away. But why are the Vegas Golden Knights so good? And a, and a major reason why is because they fawned a starting goaltender in Logan Thompson. Yes, they had Marc-Andre Fleury. There was that whole um, sh a shit show that happened. And then they're like, okay, Robin Leonard's our starter. He didn't do a very good job last year, and he's been dealing with a lot of mental health problems and physical injuries. So they were dealt a bad hand this upcoming um, offseason where they're, they were struggling to figure out who's going to be the starter, what's going to be our goalie tandem. So they add Adam Hill um, from the San Jose Sharks, and they had um, already Brossois, but he was dealing with some injuries. So leading coming into the season, they go with the rookie, Logan Thompson, 25 years old, six foot four, And currently, in my opinion, apart from Matty Beniers, Logan Thompson is the best rookie because we all know the, the position of a goaltender. You know, it takes a lot in that position. I think it's the literally the most important position in uh, in hockey or uh, for you know in the NHL because of the requirement you got you when you're facing up against guys on the West like Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid, guys that score a lot, and you're making those saves. You know, it requires you to be on top of your head and being con playing consistent hockey, right? So, in my opinion, I do believe he is the best rookie, and he's been a huge reason why Vegas is back in a playoff spot. But not only that, you know, first in the Pacific. So, Luca, what are your thoughts on Logan Thompson? Yeah, I mean, he's he's had a good year, and he's been a, a little bit of a surprise. You know, he was a little bit of a surprise last year too when he came in um, towards the end of the year, replaced uh, Robin Leonard. He looked good in the games that he played last year, and you know, the expectation was that this year he was going to come in and potentially take that starting spot. And he's done a good job of it so far. Uh, he's played some fantastic hockey. Um, you know, he's he's up there with with in terms of the Calder voting and even just in terms of of um, being the, the be one of the best goalies in this league. You know, he's looked good. He's got a 914 save percentage. He's got two shutouts on the year. He's got 18 wins, 10 losses, one overtime loss. Um, and him and Aiden Hill have split the net for the most part. He uh, He's played a little bit more games. Aiden Hill's played about 15. He's played about 29. But for the most part, I think Vegas has got themselves, uh, you know, two decent goaltenders in Aiden Hill and, and Logan Thompson. And I think it's good. I think it's good for Thompson that he's finally proving, you know, to everybody that he is a capable goaltender. This is a guy who went undrafted, uh, mind you. Uh, was never drafted in the NHL. Was ended up being undrafted. Came into the came into the association with Vegas, and you know has has taken it by storm. And and I think that you know you got to give him a lot of credit for for that. He's 25 years old. He's still super young enough that um, you know he can make himself a really really good career out of this. But um, I like him. I think he's he's an underrated goaltender. I think he's showing uh, more and more every game that uh, you know he is a capable. Uh, NHL starter in this league and and we'll see how he does uh, moving forward I think you know like I said he's had a good start um, and he's played well in the at the NHL level so far and even in the AHL and the numbers that he put up in the AHL when he was there you know 943s in 2020 2021 and a 920 in 2021-22 last year with the Henderson Silver Knights so he's he's been good um, in every level that he's played at um, so far and I think that that's what makes it even more special. The fact that he's an undrafted goalie and he's, you know, playing well at, at his level, I think goes to show you that just, you know, with hard work and stuff, anything's possible, especially just the fact that, you know, some goalies get drafted and they don't end up making it. And then a guy like Logan Thompson, who went undrafted, ended up, you know, making it and now is is leading Vegas to a, a lot of victories. So I think Vegas should be proud of themselves. Um, I think they should be happy. You know, it, it, like you said before, it replaces a guy like Robin Leonard, who last year struggled. Um, and I think, you know, it, it, it works out. I think it's, it's, it's definitely not a complaint for Vegas. That was one of the biggest question marks going into the season. Like you said, 
Um, they've answered that question mark, and they still have him signed for another two years at uh, league minimum, which is seven hundred and sixty-six thousand. So yeah, they really cannot be complaining for for him. He's he's shown his worth, um, and I hope that you know he's able to continue that because he's he's in, him and Matty Beniers are kind of in that Calder conversation or rookie of the year conversation, and I think he's playing up to standards right now. So it, it's really it's really in my opinion. Um, you know, at first when the season started, it was up for grabs who was gonna win the uh, the Calder this year. But Beniers and Thompson really set themselves away from the rest of the pack, and you know, you know, potentially seeing a a Calder winning goaltender would be fantastic. We haven't seen that in years, so um, that would be great, especially going undrafted. And last year, you know, nineteen games played. Um, 10 wins and five losses and uh, three OT losses. That's very impressive. You know, in 49 games that he's played in the NHL, uh, he has 28 wins, 15 losses, and four OT losses. And his um, goals against average is 2.66, and his save percentage is 0.914. So that's very impressive for, uh, you know, the circumstances that he was put in, especially. Uh, going undrafted and only being 25 years old but you know no one thought that thompson and hill would have been one of the best um you know duels going into the season and you know helping you know vegas be uh such a dominant team they're a top five team in the nhl this year no one would have predicted that based off how things went last season you know people thought they would have made the playoffs but you know probably in a wild card spot or maybe second or third in the pacific not first in the pacific and being a top five nhl team not only that you know now here's the question laurent bourgeois and also robin leonard become expendable and become trade bait now knowing that your uh, goalie tandem is set for years to come and you know i would try to get hill and thompson signed um, before their contracts are up because then, you know, they could hit the UFA market. And not only that, they're probably going to be asking for a lot more. Now is the time to get them signed to extensions. And honestly, can you really treat Robin Leonard with all these issues and, you know, how he's been, how he, he played recently? Um, he hasn't played any games this season. I don't think he will play at all. And Brossois, you know, lost his backup role to um, Aiden Hill. And, you know, you know, those guys, like I was saying, you know, can you really trade them? Is there really any uh, value to any of those two players? And I, well, I mean, in terms of, of Brassois, I would say no. Uh, you know, he was put on waivers early on in the season and, you know, nobody picked him up. He, you know, they signed him to a, to a one year deal at 2.3 million. He hasn't really been used. Um, it's it's a tough situation, I think, for him just because, you know, they didn't, I don't think they expected uh, Brassois to come in, uh, sorry, not Brassois, Thompson to come in and, and be how the good how good he was. And also even with Aiden Hill to come in and in that trade that they made and play, you know, up to standards as well. So I don't think that for Vegas, they necessarily needed him. I think they're, they're a little bit frustrated by that, but it's not necessarily a, a question that'll, you know, float your boat and then you know obviously for for vegas i don't really th i'm i think the biggest surprise for me on how well they're doing even just in terms of logan thompson let's say because i think we're, with aiden hill i think you keep him he's still young he's 26 right but even just the biggest surprise for me is the fact that they've won a lot of games this season with injuries um they've had a lot of injuries and they've still managed to find ways to win uh, jack eichel was injured at some point uh you know they, they've got guys in ltir shea theodore's out um, you know, Zach White Cloud is another one. Nolan Patrick. Well, we, we have Bruce Cassie to thank for that. But, yeah. we, you know, we will end up making a Why They So Good Vegas episode where we're going to be, you know, breaking yeah. down all the reasons why they're a top five team this year, why they're in the position they are in the season, why they're a playoff team, why they, they're, they're a potential contender to win the Stanley Cup. And, you know, the difference between last year's team and this year's team. But, you know, um, do you honestly think that Thompson will beat Beniers for the Calder, or do you think this is Beniers' is trophy? I think it's. I think it's really tough to say, and I'm going to tell you why. So, I think for Thompson, there's there's a lot of promise, and there's a lot of good things to say about him. You know, he's got a 914. He's got two shutouts, like I said before. But goalies don't typically win the Calder, okay? And so. I think because of the fact that goalies don't usually win Calders, 
Um, it's it's one of those things where I just don't see this year being any different. I think Matty Beneers has played really, really well um, and has earned his right at the Calder uh, simply for the fact that I think he's changed Seattle around in a different way. I don't necessarily think Logan Thompson changed Vegas. Like people, people might call that an unpopular opinion, maybe, but he's played well enough. But Vegas have always been known to have decent goaltending. Um, that's never really been an issue. And they had a good team going into this season anyways, right? Jack Eichel, they brought in, they brought in Bruce Cassidy. You know, they got rid of a few guys, but for the most part, Vegas is a good team. And I expected them to be a playoff team. And and to see what Seattle is doing and how well they're doing and how well Matty Beneers is doing, I think it, it's more surprising from a Seattle perspective than it is from a Vegas perspective. I and mean, I think that that's why right now, just seeing how good Matty Beneers has been, I would give the edge to Beneers just simply for the fact that, like I said, Seattle wasn't supposed to be in this position to begin with, and they're playing some of the best hockey that we you know we've seen in a while from an expansion team or second year expansion team. Let's say, yeah, like um, you know, Vegas had a very you know um, prominent start, and they continued to roll with that for years after they were an expansion team. You know, Seattle didn't have the best, you know. Um, season season. last year but you know for a second year team to be in a playoff spot and you know i'll playing teams like the edmonton oilers colorado avalanche and uh calgary flames that's very impressive and And with the roster they have too yeah the roster isn't elite they they have a yeah but i would say that seattle have probably one of the the deepest um winger cores in the league they're very deep in terms of wingers and the sure. last goalie to to win the calder was steve mason yeah. when he played for the columbus blue jackets in, in 2009 and look at That's the end great. of the day i think it all comes down to who's more important for their team and who's had more of an impact on their team to get their team to where they're at yes you could make the arguments about seattle you know we didn't expect this and everything but also, Vegas missed the playoffs last year, and there was a whole question mark in terms of who was going to be a starting goaltender. Was goaltending going to be an issue? Like, what was the situation there? And Thompson is a big reason why that's not an issue anymore. And Beniers is a big reason why, you know, Seattle's scoring a lot of goals and they're good offensively. But also, there's other guys to thank on that team as well in terms of why they're being su- successful. For sure. So For sure, at but- the end of the day, I can't really say who's the better rookie. I think it really comes down to what I just said. Yeah, and I think like just to like you know finish off a little bit, um, you know it's it's one of those things where like look it, it, you can't really compare the difference between the, the two. I think at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to who deserves it more and who makes their team more impactful. But like I said, half the season is still to be played, right? We may have a situation where come the end of the season, Logan Thompson is you know still consistently winning games, and Matty Beneers drops off and doesn't make a difference. You we don't know, right? It's still relatively early, but right now. It's kind of hard to compare either or, so that's kind of how. In I terms of, um, in terms of the race right now for the Calder, um, it's Thompson and Benier is leading the way, but Benier is the favorite, but but not by a lot. So you know we'll see what happens by the end of the season. But guys, we'd like to hear your thoughts. What are your thoughts on Logan Thompson having a great season? The Vegas Golden Knights having a great season. Will Thompson edge out Matty Benier's? for the Calder Trophy. Make sure to write down in the comment section below. And we'll and, and, on, and obviously, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Young Men's Podcast.